written production of the recreation centers of Sun City Incorporated and is intended for the sole purpose of informing our recreation center members. Any duplication, copying, transmission, broadcast or use including electronic and social media is strictly prohibited without the prior written consent from the recreation centers of Sun City Incorporated. Thank you for watching. Start the shindig here. Get it going. Got to be down to just a few by now. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the ninth, is it? Ninth Viewpoint Lake project update. Uh, I think we'll just follow the normal uh, agenda. We'll have Corey from Pacific Aquascape give us an update and then open the, the floor to questions. Take it away, Corey. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, we are tracking to our schedule that was the last two updates have had uh, the August 4th completion date as the, not completion date, the August 4th fill the lake date. Um, and so we're still on track for that. Uh, all of the update of kind of significant tasks, but all of the demolition work is completed. All of the demolition materials are hauled off site and removed. Um, the trucking of the um, lake silts and soils that were on top of the liner uh, was completed on May 14th or 15th. Um, the final tally was 6,125 truckloads. Um, the estimate, the pre-start estimate was 6,000 truckloads, so it was 125 over. Um, on lake construction, we started um, lining and concrete work in the last month. We have the liner is on the shoreline from um, about 300 feet west of the boat ramp around the um, peninsula of the park, across the community dock and down along, um, I think it's Bayside, out to um, Emerald Point um, cul-de-sac. That all has liner on it and the shoreline concrete is all installed. Um, the fish habitats in that phase one area are installed, all the fish habitat materials placed. Um, in phase two, all of the shoreline has been regraded, so all of the slopes are rebuilt. Um, and we have liner down the, what is that? The, west side um, and we're, we have a little hole at Cameo. We're fi fixing some grade right there at Cameo Leg, but we started with the liner coming back down the east side along Bayside. We're down about four lots or so right now um, and headed that direction. Um, the fish habitat pads have concrete on them, but the fish habitat material has not been placed yet in phase two. Um, and then in the phase three area, we are um, just started with grading in the last week, we a couple of days into it. Um, and we will finish the grading in phase three by the end of the month. So all of the lake slopes will be rebuilt um, by the end of the month. Um, and then the work will be finished the liner and the shoreline installation. Um, so all of that's again tracking to um, the schedule. We, we have the schedule and we have it here if somebody wanted to look at it and we have the, um, the phase map. It might help if we put that phase map. It's probably easier to see. I don't know who's running the... So the, if you can see colors on there, the, the yellow area was that phase one area and that's got the liner and the shoreline, fish habitat all complete. The floor of the lake, it does not have liner on it yet. Um, and then in phase two, all of the, the green area, all the slopes are graded. And uh, we will start on concrete in phase two on the 13th? 13th. On the 13th of June um, is when we'll start on concrete. It'll be about eight 
to 10 days worth of concrete and then all of the concrete will be finished in the green area. Um, and then we'll start on concrete. We won't start on concrete in the purple area until probably the second week of July. Um, and it will be a race to the finish to get the floor finished and the concrete done so that we're ready to fill on the 8th, on the 4th. Um, we really kind of no surprises in the last month. We had a couple of windstorms that caused us some problems. Um, and we've had to correct and go back and fix a couple liner areas that came undone on us. Um, and we had, uh, we've since secured those a little bit better. And then we have uh, the other thing we're working on is the, what is that called? The uh, fishing pier. We have the, uh, the substructure work is all complete, has been for about a month. And they started, the decking material came in and they started on that today, I, th I believe. I don't think they were working on it yesterday. They started on it today. Um, so they'll probably by the end of the week, they'll have the deck on. And then the awning cover would be next. And so that'll probably happen in the next couple of weeks, is the new awning cover there. I think that's it. There's not a whole lot of progress, but we wanted to make sure we touch base with you and see if you had questions. I guess the other big item we had is we're going to switch to a 5 a.m. start um, starting tomorrow. So the uh, and we'll try to keep it quiet at 5, but we'll be working. <laughs> you could feel that? <laughs> All right, well, they're not in your yard anymore, then. <laughs> so floor is open for questions. Yeah, August 4th is our projected fill at date. 20, probably 20 days. Linda Thompson, <clears throat> excuse me, Linda Thompson, lot 15. I don't have a comment or a question other than to say that <clears throat> we think you guys are doing a fabulous job. We've been really impressed with all the work you've done. You've been very responsive to our needs, did everything that, you know, to make our life better. And uh, as far as our docs concerned, particularly, because <laughs> it was difficult. And I want to um, commend Andy. I don't know his last name, but he's he's been so good to help us. So kudos to him and all the other workers out there. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Patty at Lot 33. Um, I had asked about the um, ramp, boat ramp, and having a dock or, you know, floating dock or something. Is there going to be something placed there? Is that still being discussed or looked at? Yeah, we. Alan, you got that on? Yeah, it's on. Bring okay. it closer to you. Um, I mentioned last at the last meeting that we were, gonna, we were looking at it, whether that would be part of this project or we would budget for it in 2024. Um, we still plan to do some sort of a cantilever that would um, both be a kayak type of a launch as well as a tie-up for individuals as they were um, bringing either the boat in or out of the water. They could tie it up, co get their vehicle, and then uh, oh, take great. the vehicle great. out. So we don't have it finalized, but it is still something that we are planning on doing, whether it be immediately part of this project or budget for next year. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I know you're expecting me. Yeah, sorry about that. I compliment everyone, uh, all your crew, especially Andy. He's great. Appreciate that. Lon, you do good, too. Thank you. Thanks, Lon. Just not as good as Andy. Uh, before removing, the, now this is just on my property, number 11, construction number 11. Before removing the old walls, a 56-inch by 26-inch piece of sandstone was moved by two of your people. 
uh, and placed in my yard. And I'd like to have that put back if that could be done. It okay. Will. And I have a picture of it before. Yep. It was overlooked. It'll be put back. Okay. You know that one, but okay. And, uh, but other side, just complimenting you on a great job and uh, appreciate it. Thank you. And thank, thank you for pointing out. I would, we'd, we'd rather hear about um, issues in your yards as we go past them now instead of hearing about them later after the lake's filled and we don't, then we're going to have to walk through your yard to be able to get to it. So um, issues like you just brought up, um, we're not trying to miss anything, but we, you know, we missed it apparently. So um, thank you for letting us know. I'm Laurie Daly and I live at the El Dorado and I have a kind of funny story for you. The last day that the dirt was finally going to disappear, my husband and I were watching and the last load went out and the loader drove down toward 105th. The white pickup truck was there. He got out of the loader and he went, <laughs> <laughs> I wished I had had a camera to take a picture of it. <laughs> That's good. Where in Boston are you from? <laughs> I'm from Boston. I can hear that accent a mile away. <laughs> Hi, Paul Hiles. I just wonder if I could stop by the site sometime and get a chunk of scrap liner for show and tell. Yeah, we'll get you a piece. All right, thanks. Are we good? Nope. Hi, Brian Bailing. Um, what did you guys do with the turtles? Did you do, did you do anything? That was a while ago. Um, we worked <laughs> with uh, uh, Aquatic Technologies. No, Aquatic Consulting Group, um, Rick Amalfi, uh, and he, we had two vendors or subcontractors that worked with us on removal. One was a fish removal where we uh, netted and, you know, hauled off the fish. Um, most of them relocated to uh, Desert Harbor. Desert Harbor. Mm -hmm. and, and then the turtles we had captured in turtle traps, and they went to the Heptological Society, I believe, is what my recollection is. But I could I could check with Rick. Um, but there was a there was a trapping program where we went and trapped um, the turtles. We've had quite a few showing up at Dawn Lake for some reason, and uh, kind of concerned about that. Uh, so any advice you can give us to get rid of them would be appreciated. I could give you Rick's info if you want it. Okay. Yeah. Rick Amalfi? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You know, before the water gets in, is there anybody going to send a drone over, kind of like, so we have a high view of what happened and where the um, where the fish habitats are? I mean, we can see what's in our own Sensitive yard, but could do that. I don't. Know. Yeah. We haven't talked with them. We can all. We will ask uh, Sun City and Focus. If yeah, they, they can do a drone shot have, before they, they, it gets filled, have, and we can see a, that way when we're out it. trolling. Okay. When we're out trolling, we know to avoid those areas. Right. Don't get snagged. That'd be cool. cool. We, we also are, as part of our contract, we um, as built survey all of the grading modifications in the lake, and we as built survey the locations of the fish habitats, all of the pipe inlets, um, all of the below water structures are part of a a survey file so they're accurately located and then that's going to be handed to RCSC so that they have a 
documentation of how the lake was built. Um, when we showed up and we asked for that information this time, none, none of it existed. And so we, um, you know, we had to look around from the outside and try to ascertain as best we could. We had a diver go in and and search for things, and you know, we did we did it that way. But it'll be a lot more helpful the information package that we provide. Um, the on the quality control side, there's a the liner, there's a liner testing protocol where the liner is tested um, for physical properties, but then there's also a leak location service that comes out and verifies that there's no punctures in the liner. Um, the grading is all, again, surveyed to verify that it's installed per the line and grade of the plan, and it's also um, compaction verification. There's a soils engineer out um, every day that there's grading activity going on. So today, tomorrow, as we're grading the slopes, um, there's a soils engineer who takes compaction uh, reports so that when we are done and we hand it over to RCSC, it's a certified engineered compacted fill. Um, uh, no different than any other land development project. So that's all part of our responsibility and the package information that we've, we've been giving the information to RCSC and it'll be finalized in the, when we finalize the job. And we need about 20 of them. Does that mean we're done? Well, we appreciate you coming out. Um, as always, you know, any questions come up, you can contact any of the, the staff, and uh, if we need to go to Corey, we can certainly do that. But we appreciate, uh, appreciate your help with, with the process as well. I know this has been uh, stressful for everybody. We appreciate the patience and the assistance. Sorry, I was late getting here. Always one, isn't it? I know it, and it didn't need to be me. <laughs> but in in my defense, I'm leaving at 6 a.m. in the morning, and I have a ton of stuff to get done. So, poor me, poor me. <laughs> um, I've, I missed the most important first few minutes, obviously. Are we still going to fill the second week of August? Yes, our, our fill date is the 4th of August is what we're targeting for a fill date. Wahoo, well, is it still dependent upon monsoons, give or take? Oh, of course, yes, monsoons can cause us problems for sure. We One of the reasons we leave the bottom of the lake unlined there's a couple reasons why we leave the bottom of the lake unlined. We have to build the lake from the inside because all the houses are on the outside. There's no way for us to get really effectively get to the outside edge. Normally, you would build the lake from the outside, and all the concrete trucks would be outside the lake, not inside the lake. Um, but so we have to get concrete trucks in. We have to get the pea gravel in for the... Uh, the spawning bed that has to go on the shoreline. We have to get the fish habitat material on top of the liner. So for those reasons, we have to wait to put the liner on the floor. But we, we are, after that point, we could be putting the liner on the floor, for example, in phase one, but we choose not to because if we get rain, we want the water to soak into the ground and not sit all over the place. Um, so we're leaving the floor out. Be underneath each of the down drain pipes or the street pipes that drain water off of the streets, um, we've created a sump area. And as we are going past those, some of those we are lining and other ones we're leaving open. But those areas, the goal will be, if it's a small rain event, to collect the rain in a small footprint as opposed to just let it go anywhere that it chooses. Um, so we're trying to control where rain would go, but if we get a large rain event, it's going to go everywhere. Um, and so then we will we just have to wait for it to dry up. The bottom is mostly river bottom, and the water goes away pretty quick once the old liner was, you know, ruptured on the floor. It was, uh, it goes away pretty fast. I would like to second the motion of all the people who gave positive feedback. Very impressive. I thought it would be a horrible year this year, looking at that all year. It's been quite fascinating. They're right in front of our house currently, um, and those guys are just great. 
I have my own sample of liner. Who wanted that? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks. I think we'll adjourn the meeting. Thank you again for coming out. Appreciate it. of the Recreation Centers of Sun City Incorporated and is intended for the sole purpose of informing our Recreation Center members. Any duplication, copying, transmission, broadcast or use including electronic and social media is strictly prohibited without the prior written consent from the Recreation Centers of Sun City Incorporated. Thank you for watching.